Let's drunk. Here's an odd one out of the Game Boy Advance catalog. It's Choo Choo Rocket, a single screen puzzle game originally made for the Dreamcast in 2000, then ported to the Game Boy Advance a year later, with both versions developed by Sonic Team, you know, before Sonic Team lost their frickin' minds. Also, the Game Boy Advance edition has the distinction of being the very first game published by Sega on Nintendo hardware in North America. Anyway, the basic puzzle structure of Choo Choo Rocket is tile based, and you have to strategically place arrows down to direct the Choo Choo's, or mice, to get them into these rockets so they can fly off and uh, be somewhere else, I guess. And of course, in the meantime, you have to navigate around barriers and enemies like these cats, or Kapu Kapus. But what's kinda neat is that the cats also mindlessly follow the direction of the arrows, although there's a cost there. While the mice can go through the arrows a number of times, the cats can only go through an arrow twice before it disappears. The thing to remember here, though, is that both the mice and cats will automatically turn right anytime they hit a wall or barrier head-on. They will also follow corners and turn around when they hit a dead end, so keep that in mind. The developers did a really nice job with the difficulty curve here, starting out slowly enough with a series of accessible puzzles that anyone should be able to complete, but after that, there's three more sets of puzzles that keep increasing in difficulty. In other words, Choo Choo Rocket does a fantastic job executing what should be the goal of any single screen puzzle game, and that's making the gameplay simple and easy to approach, but making the puzzles increasingly difficult to master the further you progress through the game. There's also a four-player battle mode in both the Dreamcast and Game Boy Advance versions, with the latter utilizing the link cable, but only requiring one cartridge, which is handy. That mode is pretty much just a race to see who collects the most mice, but even with just two players, it's insanely frantic and just a battle royal of chaos and craziness. There's also two-on-two -two team battles, a stage challenge mode where you have 30 seconds to complete the stage, the normal puzzle mode, and a level editor. And speaking of editing levels, that was a popular mode for the Dreamcast edition, and since that console support online play, people can upload their custom puzzles to the Dreamcast servers. In a really cool touch, the developers chose 2,500 of those puzzles submitted by fans to be included in the Game Boy Advance version of the game. That's very cool. If there's any nitpicky flaws about the Game Boy Advance version of Choo Choo Rocket, it's the fact that there's only two buttons to cycle through arrows. You do have the option of switching to holding the A button while pressing a direction on the D-pad, but even that is kind of tough to get used to, especially in the high-stress, quick reaction scenarios this game puts you in. That's where the Dreamcast version is going to play a lot better for some people, because it's got four face buttons to represent each direction. But other than that, the Game Boy Advance version of Choo Choo Rocket is a fantastic port of an already great game. Sure, the multiplayer is going to be a lot easier to put together on the Dreamcast, but even as a single player game, there is tons upon tons of replay value available on the Game Boy Advance edition. Hell, you could take this game on a 4 hour flight and not even come close to playing all the puzzles available. So yeah, if you love stuff like Tetris, Bust a Move, or Puyo Pop, then you gotta try this one out. It's well worth it. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.